Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Let's talk about this, okay? Let's just talk about these things that we're hearing on the news right now. So, about the bars, right? We heard, or I heard from mates of mine and all, right, around my area. And they're all saying that, oh yeah, I think yeah, 12 pubs might be back. What do you mean 12 pubs back? That's only for Christmas, like. It's like, yeah, but you have to listen to the rest of it, you know. Okay, fine, go on. So, yeah, so, apparently now we have to drink three pints or two pints, whatever it is. Only a few pints, one to three. And then you have to get out of there and then you have to go to a different pub. Then So you're telling me then that if people drink, want to drink, say, ten pints, yeah, so that means then let's go to three different bars or pubs just to have pints. Yeah, Jesus, that's gonna be a racket. That's like, it is, alright, yeah. So you're telling me then, so you're going to a bar that's for three pints, yeah, so three, and then next one then is, next bar is, that's six pints altogether in total, and then nine pints there that I drink always. So I'll go to a third bar like that. So Jesus, that is mad talk. Are you sure you got this right? Yeah, I'm positive, man. So Jesus, so it'd be like twelve pubs then. If like the, there's other people that would be mad drinkers, isn't there? I was like, oh yeah, there'd be loads of uh, people that love the sauce of drinking, love the sauce. Really? Oh, oh yeah, like especially the older men there, like sick of their wives there moaning and groaning or. With the girlfriend, me, 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 all the time, and kids and them dragging, dragging your hair down. Dad, can you pay for this? Dad, can you pay for that? And it's like those type of uh, men will want to be down in twenty points at the weekend. You know, true. And it's like that's gonna be a big effect on those drinkers there. Big effect, true. Big huge effect. I was like, so what's happening now with the, with the GAA? I was like, I said to me mate that, oh, it would not surprise me now. This would be so gaff, right? Okay, um, we're back in July or August, right? So we have a game coming up, a championship game, all right? And then we'll be like, okay, lads, in the dressing room, okay? We're going to talk about this. Okay, number one, right? When you're about to get the ball, cough and sneeze on the player and he'll go running away from you. Right? If you're next to the goalkeeper, sneeze, pretend you're a sniveling there, blows, blow your nose on the goalkeeper, and he'll run away, and then we'll get a goal. Alright? If he comes up for a high ball there, just do a chew, and he'll fall down to the ground like a sack of potatoes. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's loads of players out there are like literally so careful about get, not getting COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're big babies out there. Alright, yep, yeah, they are. It's like, Jesus, it will not surprise me, actually, to be honest. If we had a football game as well, or a soccer game, we're able to sneeze on someone, or spit and all. And it's just like, they'd be running away from the ball, tackling us. It's like, oh yeah, it'd be great at crack. And it's like, no, it wouldn't be the all. But like, it's fun, though, what, the way we're saying it, though. Oh yeah, it is, it is pretty funny. But imagine that, though, we're spitting at each other and all. Ugh, you'll throw up after it. After the first bit, true. <laughs> what are we crying, crying back to the referee? Referee, yeah, he said a chew on me. How could he? That's it, red card off the pitch. <laughs> well, not surprising whatsoever, to be honest with it. Nope. Yep, that's the little COVID talk there. So, yep, happy Sunday, Monday.